In this video, I will show you how to use web-based machine translation in WordFast Classic after the changes made by two major providers, Google and Microsoft. Here, I'm running WordFast Classic version 6.01G, which is the latest public release in mid-December 2011. Under the Empty tab, I can enable web-based machine translation and select Google Translate as the first empty source and Microsoft Translator as the second one. Both used to work fine, but this is no longer the case due to a change in their policy. If I try to translate a sample segment, I will get error messages from both Google and Microsoft. The solution is to upgrade to a newer version, in this case 6.02R, which is the latest beta release as per December 13th, 2011. I can go to the TM tab and enable web-based machine translation. I select Google Translate as my first empty source and I enter my personal Google API key. I made a video explaining how to obtain such a key and the link is mentioned in the description below. I don't select Microsoft Translator since I haven't got an API key for it and I don't plan to use it. I select WordLingo, which is a free service that doesn't require an API key. I can now open my sample segment for translation and I'm getting empty suggestions from the two sources I selected, Google and WordLingo. Now the question is, where can one find version 6.02R of WordFast Classic? Just go to wordfast.net Select Products Download and click on the link that says Download a beta version of WordFast Classic on the right hand side of the window. Log in to your account and you will find the latest beta version. Thank you for watching. Do hit that like button down below and also subscribe to my channel for more similar videos.